So in front of you is roast lamb, roast potatoes and veggies and a gravy. Please watch how I make it. So in front of you guys are the ingredients I'm going to be using for this recipe. And some lamb steaks there, some potatoes and a host of uh, spices and seasoning I'll be using. Rosemary, thyme, butter, dairy free butter, onion powder, garlic powder. Or an olive oil spray and a bunch of other things others will just speak talk about it as as we go along so i've gone ahead to take out the lamb sticks from the pack i put it in the bowl it's washed thoroughly and here in the other bowl you have the broccoli and the broccolini or um another word for it is tender stems broccoli and also have the carrots as well uh also there's the potatoes, which I'm going to be peeling and cutting them into sizable portions. Uh, okay. And then also as well, there I have the dried rosemary. I didn't have any fresh one, so I decided to use the dry, which is equally good. And in that bowl, you have the um, fresh thyme and garlic. So let's get started. So the first thing I am going to do is season this lamb and then after that I'll be peeling my potatoes and then I'll be um, doing my veggies. So before I can successfully season this lamb I need to make sure there's no moisture in it. That's why I'm trying to take as much moisture from the lamb with the paper towel. Next thing I'm going to do is start seasoning this lamb. So I'm going to spread some oil over the lamb so all the seasoning can stick to it. This is olive oil spray. Let's make sure I put all the lamb with the oil so that when I put the seasoning, it will stay. So the first thing I'm going to cut is garlic powder. I'm just going to put, I'll say, I'm just eyeballing it, but I'll say a tablespoon because that's a lot of lamb. And I'm going to put a tablespoon of onion powder. I don't want to over season it, but I still need to season it. Next thing I'm going to do is put some salt. That's the salt I'm using. But feel free to use any salt of your choice. Next, I'm going to add some ground black pepper. Next, I'm going to add mint, just mint and lamb are a match made in heaven basically and last but not least i'm adding some rosemary not all of it just a little bit because i need some for my potatoes as well so i'm going to give that a mix so i'm just gonna let that rest for a whole hour then i'll start on the veggies gonna cover that and let it rest and I'll come back to it later I'm going to start peeling these potatoes so all the potatoes have been peeled so what i'm going to do now is cut them into sizable portions uh not too big and not too small so for the smaller potatoes i'm cutting them in in two and for the bigger ones i'm going to be cutting them in four so they can all cook together and then after i finish cutting them then i'm going to be washing them and then boiling them in salted water till it's very soft before i start roasting them so I'm going to go ahead now and wash these potatoes. As you can see, they've, they've all been cut into sizable portions. And then we'll proceed to the next step. 
So I have a saucepan um, which I added some salt to and I'm adding the washed potatoes um, and then I'm going to be boiling the potatoes to be soft but not too soft and then later on I'll be draining them and roasting them in my air fryer. I'm not too sure whether to start with the oven first to see how it goes and then if it's not getting brown as quick as I want I'll just transfer to my air fryer what we will do with our air fryers eh oh wow so i put the lid back on the saucepan so the potato can boil but i'm not covering it fully obviously we all know that potato contains starch so it doesn't uh you know bl um, boil over on my cooker so let's check on our potatoes as you can see the knife is going in so it's our potato is cooked so i'm going to drain it now so i've gone ahead and drained the uh, water from the potato so what i'm doing now is shaking it to roughen the edges of the potato um so basically what this does is roughen it so that when it's roasting it will be crunchy on the outside and soft and buttery on the inside so next thing i'm doing is spraying the actual potatoes with olive oil spray and adding some flour you can add any quantity of flour you want and the flour that i'm using is plain all purpose flour and then the next thing i'll be doing is shaking it as well so everything the you know flour can be incorporated into the potatoes Apparently, what this does is make it extra crunchy, you know, so we all learn new things every day. So I'm going to start boiling my veggies. So the first thing going in is my carrots, which I cut um, into diagonal shape, of, but feel free to cut it in any shape you like. The next thing going in are my broccolis and my broccolinis as well uh you know so basically i'm not going to be boiling it for too long about i'll say five seven minutes so it's soft but not too soft you know because uh, the last thing we want is to remove all the nutrients so i'm covering it so it can boil so our veggies are ready nice and green so i'm going to be switching that off now I forgot to add the uh, smoked paprika to the lamb, which I was planning to add initially. So um, I'm adding a teaspoon of smoked paprika into the lamb uh, just to give it that extra, you know, smoky uh, flavor. So I'm just going to be stirring that, shaking that so everything is all incorporated and then I'm gonna be cooking that soon I wait for it to be hot I'm putting three at a time I don't want to put too much I'm going to add some butter, some plant butter. Next, I'm going to add some garlic. And some more rosemary and finally some thyme
So basically while we're doing this, we just want to seal in all the flavor. So let's see what's happening. Yes, we want it brown on the other on one on both sides. So now I'm going to transfer that to the oven so it can cook for another it's not cooked now, all it's done now it's just brown. I'm going to transfer it to this pan. I'll let the other side get brown as well. And that's the last of it. Nice and brown on both sides is what we want. So it's going straight into the pan. We want everything there, the garlic, the pine, the rosemary, everything. Minus the oil, we don't want the oil. So that's going straight into the oven now. Approximately 10 minutes. So let's check on our on our potatoes and see how it's going yes you see this is what i'm talking about oh my god the oven was taking my goodness so long this is how i want it so i'm just going to turn it around shake it and put it back so as you can see i've turned it to the other side so I'm going to put it back now so this side can be brown as well and I'll be switching it off. So I'm going to leave that in for another 5-10 minutes. I want it to be really nice and crunchy and brown. I don't want potatoes that is half brown and half not brown. I like it fully fully brown. The food is ready. See the potatoes, nice and crunchy. Look how nice and crunchy that is. And the lamb has been resting. And I just kept it warm for a little bit. So that's the lamb. The lamb is ready. And the veggies is ready. I also made some gravy as well. So let's plate up this food. First thing going on the plate are the lamb steaks followed by the roast potatoes. Next is going to be the veggies, the broccoli and the carrots. And last but not least, the lamb gravy that I made. So that's it guys. That's our plate of food. Which is I'm sure from the aroma coming from my kitchen, it's not it's gonna be nothing short of delicious. So, but before we go any further, let me do a taste test for you guys. So that's the lamb on a plate. I'm just gonna cut a bit of it and see can you see how nicely cooked that is? Next, I'm going to go in with the potatoes nice and crunchy potatoes see nice and soft on the inside and crunchy on the outside next i'm going in to the carrots the carrots i like my carrots to have a bit of crunch to it not too soft so that's it guys and that's it so guys if you like this video please give your girl a big thumbs up like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in my next video bye